It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie de la Seine and it's a bottle of the Zin beer. Uh, it's a Belgian pale ale coming in at 5.8% ABV and it was kindly sent to us by beermerchants.com. There's the bottle cap. Oh, come on. Let's get this to focus. Nah, I don't know. Oh well. Beermerchants.com, fantastic company, fantastic beers on their website. I had another look at them today uh, just to have a little browse and they got some great beers on the website. Check it out. Got some really good Belgian beer at the moment, including this one. So check out the link in the description box of the video. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Look at that. Beer in the glass then. We'll get the rest in in a moment. It could very well be a bottle conditioned beer. So we've got nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's a slightly hazy golden coloured ale with a one finger white head. Did I mention it was 5.8% ABV? Yeah, well I have now. Looks pretty good. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, that smells pretty fantastic to be honest. got me salivating there's a little bit of like a lovely lemony aroma coming through biscuity and bready but it's also got a belgian blonde appeal to it like they brewed it with the belgian blonde yeast that they would use it's like a hoppy blonde ale a bit spicy Touch earthy, it smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow! Uh, boom! Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows. What a fantastic beer! First of all, incredibly drinkable. A really nicely carbonated beer that pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, but the drinkability is incredible. It really is a lovely, juicy pale ale. I'm getting orange and spice on the back end with some bitterness. Oh my goodness me. Really fresh, juicy peach and orange kind of mangled in together. It's like a fruit juice almost, wow. And yes, it's got that classic Belgian blonde yeast there that's just carrying it along nicely. That's a really nice drink. That is so good. The first beer we had from Brasserie de la Seine was incredible. This one is just, just as good. It seems that somebody's awakened the, the... The Belgians have been able to produce fantastic beer for an awful long time. But they're classic styles. Someone's just awakened the Belgium giants in terms of brewing. Because the Belgians are one of the best brewers in the world. And they've combined their traditional brewing knowledge to produce something which is quite new and funky. And this is... Brilliant. This is a brilliant, brilliant example of a, of a pale ale. Belgian style pale ale. Unbelievable. Lemon. Touch of lime. Grapefruit. Peach. Mango. Bitterness on the back end, a little bit of sweetness and biscuitiness to begin with. It's a lovely balanced beer, carbonation is great. This is one, one incredible beer. What I really like about it is that touch of Belgium blonde yeast 
that's just there on the back end, just reminding you that it's a Belgian beer. That's incredible. Let's rate it. Well, first of all, before we rate it, is there anything we can read? Not really. <clears throat> Zin beer. The Brussels People's Ale. That is incredible. Please go and try it. Rating. Looks good. Smells good. Look at the lacing on the glass. Isn't that incredible? Looks good. Smells good. Tastes fantastic. It's a 9 out of 10 all day long. 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.